Historic, unprecedented. This morning, former President Trump indicted for the alleged cover-up of financial payments made to an adult film star. And check out the front pages of a few newspapers this morning. Trump's indictment, a historic reckoning after years of investigations into his personal, political, and business dealings. They also focus on the abrupt jolt to his bid to retake the White House. We do have team coverage from Palm Beach to New York, beginning with CBS News Miami's Jared Hill, who is outside Manhattan Criminal Court. You know, Jared, we know the NYP has been placed on high alert. Do we know when the former president is expected yeah. to surrender? So this is something, guys, that could happen within the next couple of days. And so there's a lot of sort of preparation work that's happening here. But NYPD has been prepared for this for really the past week or so, ever since former President Trump said that he would be arrested last week. This indictment now kicks off what's likely to be a very lengthy legal process. Take a look. Heavy security and a handful of protesters were outside the Manhattan District Attorney's Office overnight after a grand jury indicted former President Donald Trump. We're witnessing American history. This is the first time a former president has been charged with a crime. The indictment is under seal, though the Manhattan DA and grand jury had been probing allegations that business records may have been falsified to hide an alleged hush money payment to adult film star Stormy Daniels. This would have happened before the 2016 election. Key witness and ex-Trump fixer Michael Cohen claimed Trump directed him to make that payment. Trump has repeatedly denied it. They have nothing. Trump, who has launched a 2024 presidential bid, slammed the indictment in a statement as political persecution and election interference. Two sources familiar with the matter told CBS News the former president could be publicly arraigned in the court on Tuesday, though the planning is fluid and that could change. He will be processed. He will have a mugshot. He will get a booking number. He will uh, give fingerprints. Multiple top Republicans came to Trump's defense last night. I think the unprecedented indictment of a former president of the United States on a campaign finance issue is an outrage. This is going to destroy America. We're going to fight back at the ballot box. We're not going to give in. Top Democrats have called for the legal process to play out peacefully and without interference, including Representative Nancy Pelosi, who released a statement saying in part, no one is above the law and everyone has the right to a trial to prove innocence. Hopefully the former president will peacefully respect the system. All right, so as we wait for all this to play out here out of New York City, there are a number of other investigations centered around former President Trump going on right now, including two federal investigations, grand jury investigations out of Washington, D.C., uh, and then we're waiting on a decision out of Georgia as well. That one related to alleged attempts to overturn the results of the 2020 election. Meanwhile, we're seeing former President Trump and his campaign team using all of this as a fundraising tool. Again, as he runs for president in 2024, none of this would stop that from happening. Back to you. And yeah, that is the loophole there, mm -hmm. uh, presumably. All right, thanks very much, Sheridan.